Well, a bank robbery occurred last Friday in the town of Mammoth Lakes, and the Mammoth Lakes Police Department is seeking the public's assistance in locating the bank robbery suspect. Now, according to a press release from the MLPD on Friday, August 2nd, at approximately 2.45 p.m., a man entered the Union Bank in Mammoth Lakes with a small leather bag. The suspect approached the teller and handed her a note. The note was printed in English and Spanish and read, robbery. The teller then handed the suspect money and as the suspect walked toward the exit door, the teller activated the silent alarm. The press release states Mammoth Lakes Police Department officers arrived within three minutes and checked the area but were unable to locate the suspect. Mammoth Lakes Police Chief Dan Watson said $1,400 was taken in the robbery. Now the suspect description, a white male between 55 and 60 years old, 5 foot 9 inches tall, slender build, white hair covered with a light green baseball cap, checkered white, red and green, the long sleeve shirt. The suspect was clean shaven and no weapon was seen. Now the MLPD put out a vehicle description, but have since made contact with the owner of that vehicle and that vehicle and the owner of that vehicle is not a suspect. Now anyone with information about the suspect is requested to contact the Mammoth Lakes Police Department at 760-934-2011 or the Mono County Sheriff's Office at 760-932-7549 extension 7. Now in a separate case, the Mammoth Lakes the Police Department is also seeking the public's assistance in locating a missing person. Press release notes that on July 29th, a missing persons report was taken on Matthew Green, age 39. Mr. Green arrived in Mammoth Lakes on or near June 27th, and the press release notes it was to hike, camp, and conquer peaks in the eastern Sierra. Now, according to his family and friends, Matthew Green is an avid hiker, rock, and ice climber. The last known person to have, have contact with Green talked to him on July 16th. He was camping at Shady Rest Campground while his vehicle was being repaired at a local shop. Mr. Green has not returned to Shady Rest Campground or picked up his car from the repair shop. Matthew Green is 39 years old, a white male, 5 feet 11 inches tall, approximately 155 pounds, with brownish blonde short hair and brown eyes. It is believed that he may have gotten a ride from someone to a remote, remote area to hike or climb. Now, the Mono County Search and Rescue Team has been notified, but without a last known location, they cannot initiate a search. Now, anyone with information about the whereabouts of Matthew Green is requested to contact, again, the MLPD at 760-934-2011 or the Mono Sheriff's Department at 760-932-7549, extension 7. Well, two separate thunderstorm events that occurred July 21st and July 28th have caused damage to several roads, trails, and other infrastructure on the Mount Whitney Ranger District of the Inyo National Forest Service. We're getting some information from the U.S. Forest Service that those localized storm cells dropped several inches of water onto mountain slopes, causing landslides, debris flows, and major rockfall. And as a result, some roads are impassable to passenger vehicles, and some roads are impassable to all vehicles and have been temporarily closed. Now, trail washouts have left two trails, Shepherd's Pass and Taboose Creek, impassable to stock and very difficult for hikers and backpackers. The Inyo National Forest, according to the press release, is working with Inyo County, LADWP, and Southern California Edison to inventory the damage, make repairs, and make roads and trails passable again as quickly as possible. Now, areas on the Inyo National Forest with known damage include Hayway Pass Road and Trail they are both temporarily closed. There is major damage to the road, trailhead, and trail. Also, Wyman Canyon Road. Road is impassable to passenger vehicles and very difficult for travel for off-highway vehicles. Also, Foothill Road. Sections of the road impassable to passenger vehicles and as a result of washouts at Shepherd Creek and at the North Fork of Bears Creek. Also, Division Creek. That road is closed a half mile before the powerhouse and Mazurka Canyon Road is also closed. Now, according to the press release, several other roads within and entering Death Valley National Park were also affected by the storm and 
are impassable or closed. Visitors traveling off the paved road system in Death Valley are encouraged to check on the road conditions with the National Park Service. Now, temporary road closures are in place on roads where all types of vehicles, including motorcycles, will be unable to pass and in areas where loose rock and debris are creating potential safety hazards to the public. Now, to protect public safety and to expedite repair efforts, the U.S. Forest Service is asking the public not to enter these closed areas or any area posted with a temporary closure where road work and repairs may be taking place. If you would like some additional information, updates, you can contact the Interagency Visitors Center, Lone Pine, 760-876-6200, or the Visitor Center, you can stop by at 136 and 395 in Lone Pine. You can also contact the Inyo County Roads Department at 760-878-0201, or check out that Inyo National Forest website at fs.usda.gov. We'll be back with more news.